the dismissal of the confidential document case against Donald Trump is a pivotal moment, stirring deep emotions and psychological reactions across the nation. This decision carries profound significance, influencing the beliefs and actions of both supporters. Opening Knox. Major breaking news on one of the cases facing the former president, Donald Trump. Specifically, the documents case based out of Palm Beach, Florida. For more on that, David spun tracking it in Washington, D.C. And David, I'll allow you to deliver. Judge Eileen Cannon has dismissed the classified documents case against Donald Trump in Florida. This is massive news. We did not see this coming at all. This is a case that she tentatively postponed to a later date. The original trial was set for the end of May. She uh, moved it back a couple of months, though not setting a date. She has just dismissed it in a 93-page court document saying that uh, Jack Smith, the special counsel's appointment, violates the appropriations clause and the appointments clause of the United States Constitution. In layman's terms, she's saying that he was not appointed lawfully and not appointed appropriately. I'm sure we're going to be hearing from the Department of Justice about this momentarily, as Attorney General Merrick Garland believes that he had every right and his team believes every right that he could appoint Jack Smith as special counsel. We're going through this right now. It's 93 pages. The printer is cranking up behind me uh, page by page. But essentially, the bottom line here is that this documents case goes completely away for Donald Trump. There was a hearing that was originally scheduled for next week to talk more uh, about this appointments issue. Judge Cannon issues this on the day of the beginning of the RNC. So right now, Donald Trump still has one pending case against him in federal court. That's here in Washington, D.C. That's his alleged attempts to try to overturn uh, the 2020 election. Uh, Special counsel Jack Smith received a blow to that case just a couple of weeks ago with the Supreme Court. That seems to be somewhat delayed right now. Uh, But this is big news. No question that this case. For Trump supporters, the ruling is a monumental victory. It reinforces their conviction that Trump is a target of an unjust justice system. The judge's decision highlights the flaws in the special counsel's appointment process, underscoring the need for accountability and adherence to the rule of law. This ruling bolsters their belief in governmental overreach and the necessity for vigilance in defending their chosen leader. Conversely, opponents of Trump view this dismissal with frustration and disillusionment. They see it as a failure of the legal system exacerbating their sense of injustice. This decision stokes their anger and deepens political divides, challenging their trust in the institutions meant to uphold justice. The emotional reactions are powerful and varied. Trump's supporters feel vindicated and relieved, their faith in his innocence and their distrust of the political system strengthened. On the other hand, his detractors experience a surge of anger and despair feeling that justice has been thwarted. These emotional responses ripple through social dynamics and political participation. For some, the ruling reaffirms their faith in the judicial system, seeing it as a self-correcting entity capable of upholding justice. For others, it is a stark reminder of systemic biases and flaws, fueling their activism and public discourse. Leadership plays a crucial role in framing this decision. Political leaders on both sides will either celebrate it as a triumph of justice or decry it as a miscarriage of legal processes. Their communication strategies will shape public sentiment, influencing the broader political landscape and media narratives. In the end, this case's dismissal is more than a legal decision. It is a catalyst for emotional and ideological reactions that will continue to shape the nation's political and social fabric.